when I was living in my duplex, had a lot of issues going on like with the plumbing. And then eventually they sold it to someone else. So I had a new landlord. Just continue going up on the rent. So I'm like, if I'm gonna pay this for rent, then I might as well try to, you know, look into buying my own home. I was desiring to be more of a leader in the community, to be an example for my three boys. I also wanted to teach them to be a leader in the classroom and in the community as well. Being a homeowner is very hard because everything falls on you, the maintenance, the, the yard, the keep up of everything, it falls on you. I mean, owning a home is wonderful, but it's a struggle. Being a first time uh, home buyer, I know it was different programs that could help you uh, through the process. That's when I contacted Grassroots. I first heard about Grassroots at Brook Avenue Elementary. They were hosting monthly meetings for parents. One in particular, they had asked what we wanted our kids to be. And I had put leadership. The team member at Grassroots at the time pulled me aside. After discussing that, she told me she wanted to, wanted me to participate in Grassroots leadership training. So the first time I heard about Grassroots, Mr. Mike Stone spoke at New Deliverance because you would come over at times and help with the uh, Boy Scouts and the Girl Scouts over there. I was very interested at that time because I knew I was having problems with my roof. My roof was horrible. And I said, well, let me try. This is the first time y'all didn't accept me, but I kept going because I don't take no for an answer. And you came in and you fixed my roof for me. And um, it looks beautiful. It was, it was awesome. Well, I called and uh, I spoke to Daryl Abercrombie and he did tell me that I need to do an application. I took the financial literacy home buying classes. Every Thursday, I would go to a class after work. Each week was something different. And then eventually after we finished the classes, uh, we started the process of first of all, pulling my credit report to see where I was at. Got my credit score where I needed to, to be at. I got approved for the down uh, payment which was wonderful because other than that, I just don't know where I would have came up with the money for the down payment. They took me through all the steps of what I could do, what I couldn't do. The grassroots leadership training had us reflect on the type of leader we wanted to be, how to take initiative at the school. It really does teach you to think through projects differently, look around your community and see what it needs. Later, Mr. Mike, you called and you was saying that the city has been approved to test for lead in older houses. And you asked, could you come and test my house? And it was full of lead. And you guys came in and you just really rebuilt my house. After we had uh, picked out the floor plans and I had picked out all the colors and things that I wanted, then they started on the process of building the house. When I came over and they had laid out the foundation, me and my daughter, and we just stood there and I just opened my arms up. This is going to be mine one day. So, but, oh, it was just wonderful. They really taught me how to collaborate with people. Grassroots has also taught me how to use uh, my voice. Like I had a servant heart, but I didn't know how to necessarily lead. The repairs have just really helped me because it cut down on my stress level. It, it, it stopped me from worrying about how I'm going to get this done. They're there. They have always been there. And not only for me, because I have seen other people's houses that they have even built, and I'm like, wow. We were started 21 years ago when four business guys and a, a pastor got together. and. They wanted to use their business skills to help serve Waco. In the beginning, all we did was, we're gonna build houses. We ran across a lot of people that needed help to get their finances ordered. So we became a housing counseling agency. Through the years, we've built uh, 70 houses and we've helped about uh, 355 people become homeowners here in Waco. Along the way, we noticed uh, where we were building houses were a lot of houses in repair and people were coming to us and saying, hey, I need help with my house. 
So we would find families that needed repairs and then we would find groups that had the resources, skills to be able to provide repairs and we put the projects together with the families. We found there were a lot of people that wanted to get more involved in the community. We started, we call it community organizing and trying to help connect the people that we knew to the, the people in the community. We are uh, about helping people become homeowners and invest in their communities. We want to help as many people um, become the homeowners uh, for their community and for people that live in the community, we want them to be a part of developing solutions to the problems in their community. I feel really blessed to be where I am today, working with Grassroots. There's so many things that it has led to from working at, with the schools, to becoming a community health worker, to uh, volunteering in other capacities in the community. I really appreciate Grassroots for all that they do, and I love this community even more now. Grassroots helped me to get where I am today tremendously. I mean, if it wouldn't have been for Grassroots, I probably wouldn't be a homeowner today. I've just been amazed about the help that I get in the help that other people have gotten from you guys. I just appreciate what y'all do, not only for me, but for, for the city of Waco. Y'all beautify Waco.